tornado damage, kids. Uh, I did not realize that we had a tornado that rolled through uh, Katie last night. Okay, welcome to Ground Zero. I'm going to park the bike right here and just go looking. Man, that did get flattened, didn't it? All right. Well, uh, welcome to Wednesday, hump day. Very rainy hump day. Check my fuel. Yeah, I'm going to fill up this morning. Wallet. Yeah, got the wallet. We had some crazy storms last night. Uh, finally hit the uh, Katy area all throughout the like the southwest corner of uh, the Houston metro. Finally got it late last night and it rolled through the entire area. Massive thunder and lightning storm. Uh, we were having like 10 lightning strikes a second. It was bizarre. I recorded a little bit of video at 2.30 in the morning when it woke me up. I couldn't believe it. Lightning strikes every tenth of a second. It's just crazy. It was just constant flash, flash, flash. flash. I mean, the, the sky never stopped going off. It looked like blue fireworks. It was pretty bizarre. Anyway, I'm on the road. Wet, probably. Gonna find out. <laughs> Go over and fill this thing up. Head into my warehouse and uh, work made of mine is going to meet me there. We're going to go grab a quick breakfast and uh, find some work for the day. Man, look at all this on the road. This is how crazy the rain was last night. We were getting 60 mile per hour winds and just torrential downpour for about an hour. I don't even know how much rain we got as far as rainfall total but I'm sure it was at least two inches uh, in you know 30 or 45 minutes that it was really coming down it's pretty crazy 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 and you can tell all this area right here was flooded this was uh, this was a low spot because the uh, piles of you know, debris that were floating in the water yeah, look at all the stuff on the roads. This is all uh, flooding and uh, tree debris. You can see mud built up in the center. So these roads must have been really flooded. Yeah, this road flooded. Must have had some really nasty winds to knock all the tree branches down. I didn't notice it in my neighborhood as much as right over here. So must have been localized winds. A lot of tree. Crazy. I don't want to drive over that one. That one might hurt me. These won't hurt me. I lost a fence. Yeah, we had some bad straight line winds last night. I saw my trees ripping around in my backyard. I was wondering if the uh, gazebo and the uh, the trampoline we're going to take off and end up in the neighbor's yards, but nope. And here's where I filter because this is just not going to be any fun. Yeah. Trees down everywhere, man. Everybody, welcome back to the day. Wednesday night. Skies have cleared and it's absolutely gorgeous out here. Uh, the air is fairly dry and crisp. It's barely 70 degrees. Uh, 69, 70. Just feels fantastic out here. It's breezy. <laughs> it's real breezy. We're getting 30 mile an hour gusts off and on, but it uh, feels good. Might be a different story out on the highway, but we're getting ready to find out. Uh, speaking of winds and crazy stuff, let's see what time it is. What's the time? Uh, yes, uh, almost 7 o'clock. Um, all that debris and nonsense that I rode through this morning. Tornado damage, kids! Uh, I did not realize that we had a tornado that rolled through uh, Katy last night. Uh, literally just about a mile and a half from my house. Not even, yeah, b barely a mile and a half uh, straight. If you were to drive it, it's about uh, two and a half miles. So uh, just 
kind of barely northwest of me at uh, Mason Road and I-10, just south of I-10, uh, not even a quarter mile. Uh, it flattened a uh, little uh, strip mall uh, sports bar over there, got nuked, and uh, several other businesses were damaged. And uh, it rolled through the neighborhoods, and that was some of the uh, fence flattening that I saw this morning on the way to work. So, yeah, crazy. Uh, <laughs> I moved out of Oklahoma to escape tornadoes, and here they are coming to visit me again. I guess they missed me. They still miss me, damn it. Good. Keep missing me. I don't like tornadoes. <laughs> it's funny. You know, I, I grew up in Oklahoma where it's just constant tornado and hail and ice storm and just bizarre weather left and right. And, uh, you know, everybody I knew there... Uh, was asking me when I moved down here they said aren't you afraid to go down there you know they always have hurricanes and blah 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 and I'm like yeah hurricanes don't bother me that <laughs> you can plan for those they're announced they're coming long in advance open oh, there it goes uh, <laughs> you have time to prepare for those tornadoes yeah they just drop down erase shit and leave there's no warning they 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 do what they want when they want and good luck if you're in their way uh, <laughs> Growing up there in Oklahoma, we learned at a very young age, uh, just as kids, if you hear the tornado sirens going off, or if you hear the emergency broadcast service on TV or the radio, you stop, you listen, because that could be your ass. Uh, it, they, they don't set those things off for no reason. <laughs> that means danger close, it's coming for you. <laughs> if you're in the path and you can hear it, you're in trouble. So yeah, uh, just coincidentally last night when all the lightning was coming through, it woke me up, it was right at, uh, I don't know, about 2.15 to 2.20, I started hearing, you know, just constant rolling thunder. It sounded like a train, and I'm, you know, again, in my mind, growing up in Oklahoma, if you hear that sound, you pay attention, because that's the sound of a tornado when it's coming through, is uh, it's like a train, and it gets louder and louder and louder until it erases your house. And, <laughs> you know, I'm hearing this constant rolling thunder, and I'm seeing this lightning outside, going what in the hell is going on and uh, I took a couple of uh, screenshots on my phone of the uh, radar track and all the crazy amounts of lightning that was going on and there were literally lightning strikes about every tenth of a second it was just blah 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 blah, blah. I mean it was it was like strobe lights outside it looked like some freaky dystopian uh, disco concert going on out in the clouds it was really surreal I'll take you guys over there to the uh, Mason Road uh, scene of the aftermath. We'll see if we can get through there. It might be a little bit congested. Probably a lot of other looky-loos, just like I'm getting ready to be. Yeah, so I didn't pay attention to uh, exactly where this place was. I just saw the address and the rough area on the map where it is. And uh, I think it's down here on the... It'll be on my left side as I'm going down here. There have been news crews out here in this neighborhood all day today, you know, getting eyewitness accounts and <laughs> disasters always bring out the, uh, the looky-loos. And I'm, uh, I'm not one to talk. I'm not throwing stones, man. Here I am. <laughs> so somewhere right in here. It was a, a smaller strip center kind of like that back there just judging by the pictures anyway. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go on the left side. Yeah, so I, I remember them talking about Firestone. Cool, I'm gonna pull in, why not? Uh, just don't wanna get hit from behind. Yeah, they got it marked off. So yeah, this Firestone I've been to uh, many times uh, to do alignment on my truck and tires and whatnot. So. Okay, well we've got uh, parking pylons and fence posts in the median here. They got blown away. They got forcefully relocated. Pizza Hut! Okay, welcome to Ground Zero. I'm going to park the bike right here and just go looking. Man, that did get flattened, didn't it? I'm not going to get in their business, but... Uh, Wow. Oh yeah, this got flattened out. This side did okay. That did not. 
it just goes to show you how localized tornado winds can be. That's crazy. So, I'm not sure where the bar is. I guess maybe it was further back there, but yeah. Firestone, she's a flat. U-Haul uh, trailer turned on its side here. Is it a U-Haul or just a, a box trailer? Yeah, just a box trailer. Wow, it got picked up and slammed. Look at the frame. Oh, I gotta get my phone for some pictures of this. That thing got picked up and dropped, kids. The back end is accordioned in, so uh, it went airborne. I wonder where it was sitting before it landed on that light pole that was there. So light pole like that, that was a vertical light pole. It's now folded and the trailer sitting on top of it. So this thing was airborne uh, pretty high at some point. I'm sure it looked even crazier this morning before uh, all the cleanup efforts. That sign took a beating. Let's get a shot here. Let's get the whole thing in frame if we can. There we go. Man, that's nuts. Just rubble and debris. So I wonder how much of this is demo from them using, uh, you know, heavy moving equipment and uh, shoveling it up versus how much was just scattered by the wind. All right, well, we've seen. Let's get out of the way. Make more room for more gawkers. <laughs> Luckily, no one was hurt in this. I should mention that. You know, I, I'm not just some you know, sadist here. Uh, nobody was injured. Uh, everyone uh, got out of this uh, unharmed. Uh, luckily, it didn't go through and create you know real havoc in the neighborhoods over here behind it because it's a pretty densely populated area back over here. We've got uh, a lot of uh, shopping centers and uh, residential areas. There's uh, apartment complexes and neighborhoods in the area, so. Uh, it could have been bad in the middle of the night and you know this is Houston we don't have uh, emergency warning sirens and all that kind of stuff here like uh, Oklahoma and other places have so I've always wondered about that in uh, you know hurricane season people know to be turning on the news and listening for it but those are long advance uh, incidents you don't have something that's just dropping in suddenly like a tornado. Uh, even, you know, rainstorms, hailstorms, you kind of, you have a little bit of advance notice that those are coming. But tornadoes, uh -uh. And there's no uh, warning infrastructure down here for that. So, yeah, good luck. We don't even get those kind of notices on our phones or any of that. So, yeah. This is our stomping ground. But, yeah, see here, we've got, you know, apartment complexes, uh, a big neighborhood right over here. There's a lot of a lot of things that could have gone wrong last night so if it were if there were any uh, positive uh, tornado outcome this is probably it 